Oh, why is it so like shaky? Is it, is it okay now? Hello everyone, today is Thursday and it's currently 2 p.m. And by the way, welcome to my kitchen. Which, if you follow me on Snapchat, you probably see my kitchen a lot. <laughs> I was making lunch over there. And then I decided that I'm gonna answer the questions you guys asked me on Facebook while I'm cooking so we can just talk to each other. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I got a lot, like, there's a lot that I keep like scrolling down. A lot of questions are about studying abroad and how to find scholarships. I can ask some of my friends to come and talk to us because I know a lot of friends who are so much better at finding scholarships and finding schools. They're just so good and I don't think I'm like the expert in that. So today I'm just gonna answer some questions about myself and my life and my career and whatever you guys want to hear. And then we can save some school related questions to my friends. If you guys like this series, we can do it next week because I think I'm gonna meet them this weekend. Today we're just gonna make some food, talk, have some fun. Okay, are you guys excited? I am excited. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go over there and make some eggs. Can you guys see me? 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 I'm just gonna fry these two eggs. I have a little oil in here already, which is heating up right now. And I'm gonna crack the egg on here. You know. Ah! I have two eggs over here, but I think I'm just gonna eat one. Okay, first question. Make sure to reduce the heat so it's not burning. Okay, first question. When are you returning to Vietnam? I think in next couple months. One or two months. When? I don't know yet. <laughs> so we just have to wait. The next most popular question is, who's my boyfriend? So I used to be very public about my relationship but for now I don't really want to talk about it because you know like I think it's certain and you can date someone for now but what if something happened later and especially I don't want to put it on the internet I don't think it's for everyone <laughs> so just know that I'm very happy right now but as soon as I know something for sure, like a wedding or an engagement, of course, I'll let you guys know. But for now, I just want to keep it for myself. But just know that I'm very happy right now. <laughs> okay, the egg is done. I'm gonna put my food together and then we're gonna keep chatting. Lunch is done. Look at what I have. This is broccoli brown rice, some Vietnamese meatloaf, and a fried egg, which I like. I love eggs. <laughs> okay, before I eat, one more question. Why did you decide to study abroad and why USA? Well, I wanted to go when I was in high school, but then my parents said no because I was too young or my parents didn't have enough money for me to go. So I was just thinking to myself that I'm just gonna study in Vietnam forever. But one day my dad asked if I still wanted to go and I said, why not? And why USA? I'm not sure because I never think I would go to Europe or other countries. I thought they don't teach in English there. They only teach in like French or German or some other languages. So it was not my option. I pick America right away. Okay, now I'm gonna dig in because my lunch is getting cold and I'm gonna answer some more questions later. Guys, I'm done eating. I'm so full. Uh, I did my dishes too, and now I'm sitting in my living room. We will answer the next question.
I hope you're not angry at me because I said your legs are short. No, I'm not because my legs are really short. <laughs> I'm not tall in any way. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Anyway, can I ask you a question? What kind of people you hate? To be honest, I don't really hate anyone because I don't know, like what's the point of hating? <laughs> like, what is that gonna do for me? But, but there's some types of people that I might not like. You know how some people get together in a group and then they're gonna talk like shit about other people? I hate that kind of people. Why do you have that much time? <laughs> you know? What did you do to overcome difficulties? And what saying make you stronger? I don't know what kind of difficulties are you asking about? So I'm not sure. Like, you mean like a tough time or... I'm just gonna answer the next question. What saying makes you stronger? I really like a quote. This is what it said. You don't have to be perfect to inspire other people. Inspire them by your imperfections. I really like that because I don't believe in perfection. Even though I'm such a perfectionist. But like, I'm saying like about personality or the appearance, like how you look. You don't have to be perfect. <laughs> Next question. I love you so much. Do you love me the same? Yes, I do. <laughs> have you ever went to sleep naked, yo? <laughs> yo. <laughs> yes. Sometimes, not all the times, but sometimes when I feel like. <laughs> Hi, you are the loveliest beauty vlogger that I have ever known. Oh, thank you so much. Do you have any sad experience in love and how did you solve it? Because I'm having some troubles in love. Hope you would answer my question. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> I think everyone will have bad experience in love. Especially when you like older and I'm sure I'm much older than a lot of you are. <laughs> it sucks at first when you like first broke up or somebody did not love you back or something. Just understand that they are not the only one on earth and you can find someone else. If somebody treats you badly, you have to understand that you deserve better. Don't just stop to someone else that make you feel unhappy. Because what's the point of being in love, right? Why, why would you be in love if you can just be happy by yourself? Just know that if they don't care about you enough or they don't make you happy and they make you sad, you don't have to be with them. So a lot of people ask me to cover some Justin Bieber song. I don't know, I feel so weird. What if I'll sing really bad? <laughs> well, maybe I'll sing if I do a, like a live stream or something because I just don't want to sing by myself now. <laughs> Are you an introvert or extrovert? If you are the first one, how to be more outgoing? It's very interesting because I just took a test recently to find out if I am an extrovert or introvert and I'm like in the middle. <laughs> that was, I was thinking too because I'm not really an introvert because I love working with people and I feel like I'm more happy when I'm around people but I work better when I have some space to myself and how to be more outgoing you know if you like too comfortable in one environment and you don't push yourself to you don't challenge yourself to do something else you're just gonna keep doing the same thing just push yourself to go to some like dancing classes or swimming classes or just you don't have to talk to like tons of people to be outgoing you know what I mean just talk to like four or five and then you'll have more experience and you can talk to more and more and more next question can you share your idea about qualities of a good boyfriend in your opinion sure <laughs> in my opinion I like a guy who has a sense of humor can make me happy all the time 
I don't like someone who is too serious and especially I like guys who have like motivations not just like being rich or making a lot of money because money is important but it's not that important and if all he cares is money then there's no sense I don't like guys like that but I like independent guys bonus point if he knows how to play like piano or some kind of music instruments that'd be cool but if he doesn't that's fine because you know you don't have to sing for me all the time <laughs> what's my full name my full name is what I don't like I really don't like it my first name and my last name you guys all know and then my middle name is Tuit <laughs> now you guys can put it together what is the most interesting place you ever visited and why? Hmm, this is so hard because I love everywhere I've been to um, I must say Paris in France because like who doesn't love Paris? and as you remember the first time me and my roommate we were on the boat and then we just going like passed by it the Eiffel Tower suddenly lit up and I was standing there and I was just like oh my god I really wanna cry I really wanna cry because it was just so beautiful it was pretty fun there but I didn't get to go a lot because I went with my friend and she has a baby with her so we didn't get to go a lot but I think it was beautiful I love you so much and can you tell me about how to be confident with round face I have a very very round face and I can't deal with it girl you don't have to deal with your face you have to love it I honestly never hate my round face because everyone looks differently and like imagine how boring it would be if you have the same face as someone else does everyone will remember that you have a round face in middle school and in high school I used to have a lot of nicknames about my face like how round it is but I loved it and until now I still love it because it just makes me so different than other people and I appreciate it don't be too stressed about it because people with round faces will look younger forever not forever but you know we will look younger <laughs> What do you think if your boyfriend or some boys say you put too much makeup on your face and natural is more beautiful than having makeup on? I would not talk to those kinds of boys. If putting makeup on your face make you more confident and you feel better, then do it. And the beauty of makeup is you can take it off at the end of the day so as long as you love yourself, you love your face you can change the look by just putting makeup on and there's nothing embarrassing about that just tell them to shut up <laughs> describe yourself in five adjectives let's do this I am very energetic creative I am very hardworking sympathetic and I must say I'm caring <laughs> okay guys so that is the last question for today I'm trying so hard to answer all of them but it is just impossible <laughs> there's so many and I don't want this video to last like five hours or six hours I really enjoyed talking to you guys and answering all the questions uh, if you like this English speaking series please give this video a thumbs up so I know and I will do more uh, we can do about relationships we can do about career we can do about learning English we can do about studying abroad there's just a lot to talk about and I really love like sharing my experience so just let me know if you guys want more of this I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!